Good evening, everybody. And we made it. Exia. Crikey. That was a tough few weeks, I don't mind saying. And if it was tough for me, uh, it can only be an awful lot tougher for you. Now, well done. You've put in one heck of a pitch. Um, this has been a very, very tricky patch of work to get through. Uh, but the level of work that you guys have done has vastly impressed everybody. The way in which you've applied yourselves to this ridiculous situation, um, the way in which you've just kept going uh, has been incredibly admirable. Well done. Um, I hope this is the hardest bit. I don't think it's going to be easy after this, but I do hope this is the hardest bit. The nights are going to start to get a little bit lighter. The weather hopefully will improve. That should allow us to spend a bit more time outside. And then, touch wood, we'll be back at school after half term. That's still the plan. We've got to cling to that. We've got to hope that we'll be back here and back to normal uh, as soon as we possibly can. If we can't, well, nil disparandum and we'll deal with that the way that we've dealt with this, okay? But well done. Incredible job. A lot of hard work, a lot of progress that's been going on. Well done, you. Let's hit exit and relax. Now, the teachers have been easing off. I know that we've been holding back on a few preps, so you should be in a position whereby you can just walk away from this horrible little thing that we've got here uh, in front of us. Get away from the screens. If you've got work that should have been done by Friday and it's hanging on, knock that out as soon as you possibly can because we all need to get away from the screens and we need to get out there. We need to reconnect with our families in a human way. We need to spend time with anyone we're allowed to spend time with. You know, get out there. We need to get outside. We need to get some fresh air. We've got to get outside these walls and away from this thing. It's, been, it's done a heck of a job so far. But it needs a break. We need a break. And so please, please, please make the most of this exit. I haven't set any work over eggs yet other than don't do any work over eggs yet. You guys have done an incredible shift. We'll start again on Monday. And I have absolutely no doubt that you're going to just keep working just as hard as you've been doing uh, up to this point. Now, some of you will be starting on interim reports uh, after half term. This is not a punitive measure. This is not punishment. This is purely a supporting measure. This is something that we put in place to try to help you to identify the areas where you need help and identify what help you're getting, or sorry, identify how effectively whatever help you're whatever help you're already getting uh, is is working. So this is coming through. If you're if it's your first time on an interim report, and you're not being punished. Really, we're we're just trying to help you. Right, uh, a few words to the upper six. We'll get to the uh, lower six after this. Um, upper six, we still don't know how you're going to be assessed. Um, I, I, I really wish I could say for certain it's going to be this, uh, but I can't. And until we can say that with absolute certainty, uh, we just have to keep working as hard as you are already. Um, it's looking ever more likely that uh, whatever form of assessment is coming is all going to be stacked towards the end of the cycle. Okay, that seems to be the most likely outcome. But until we can say that with absolute certainty, we just have to keep going. Just keep working as hard as you possibly can. Every single bit of work you, you're doing, you know, is being judged. You know, whether it gets taken into uh, account in any calculations or not, unlikely, but, you know, you never know. Everything you do is going to go into the mark book and you will get reports. You, we're not doing APGs this eight, this term, uh, sorry, this, uh, this cycle but you're still getting marks for this work and it still is going into the logbooks. And we're still building our own profiles based upon the work that you're doing. We're certainly checking how hard you're working, both the ATL and the ATP are going ahead. Um, no AP, no, uh, no attainment grades, however, uh, in the APGs on this particular cycle uh, half term. How it spins out later, well, who, who, who knows? Uh, but just please keep working. Now, it's, it's easy for us it's easy for us to talk about routine and taking one day at a time and all of that sort of stuff. But obviously, you know, we're teachers. We signed up for a life of mundanity, tedium and disappointment. Um, you didn't. We understand that. Um, but please do bear with us as we try to get this process going and, and just keep going. It will at some point finish and uh, we'll be back to whatever passes for normal uh, at that stage and uh, bring it on uh, as soon as possible. Uh, UCAS, uh, no need really to worry about that at this point. Um, the, uh, the the time for making uh, your decision is going to be uh, in June. Uh, we'll we'll look at that uh, uh, long before uh, the deadline gets close. 
But um, don't worry about that at this present. And um, just a little word to Team Cambridge out there. Good luck. Um, let's hope uh, let's hope the news is good and we do at least as well uh, as we did uh, at Oxford. So that's the uh, the upper six. Just keep on keeping on. You're doing a great job uh, under the most incredibly trying circumstances. Well done. Uh, lower sixth, uh, we're going to start cranking up the uh, UCAS and university application machine. Uh, we've got uh, a new uh, application coming online uh, in the next week or so. That's called Unifrog. That's going to be your one-stop shop uh, for university advice. It's an incredibly powerful search engine. Uh, we had it a couple of years ago. We got rid of it because it wasn't really cut the mustard. Uh, they've gone away. They've had a rethink. They've uh, come up with a massively improved product. And I think this is going to help you in all sorts of fantastic ways. It's going to make your life and your tutor's life uh, an awful lot easier. So we'll be explaining how that works and how that's going to help you make informed decisions uh, once we get back from Exiat uh, with a view to going you know, full, gu full, uh, full guns blazing uh, after half term. Um, international applications. If you are hoping to make an international application, you should have made yourself known to Dr. West already. If you haven't, please do so uh, as soon as possible, particularly if you're thinking of making an American application, because the clock is definitely ticking uh, on that. Similarly, if you're thinking of making a specialized application, whether it's medicine with Mr. Reinhold, engineering with Mr. Williams, uh, law with me, do make yourself known to the uh, appropriate person. And we've got some exciting stuff coming up, certainly with the, with the medicine stuff and engineering. And even I've got some stuff coming up on law. So do please get in touch and uh, we, we'll get that process uh, underway. And um, that's about it uh, from me, this particular cycle. What I really want is for you guys to go out and have a fantastic exit and have a well-earned break. Um, one of the most invidious things about this whole situation is that, you know, Everyone's affected, but some people uh, are getting off relatively lightly. Others are really getting a, a proper kicking from this thing. That's brutally unfair. Um, but we do hope that you know, we get through this together because we may not all be suffering to the same extent, but we're all very much in the same boat. And we'll all get through it by working as a unit. And the great thing about you is that you have an incredible network around you whether it's your family network or whether it's the school network, you know, your relationship with your teachers, your relationship with your tutors, your relationship with your housemasters, and of course, the incredible relationships you've got within the school. This is all there to support you and help you. And frankly, anything that gets us through this has got to be a good thing. So these relationships are here to support you. This is an incredibly tough situation. Um, we're just here to help and uh, whatever we can do to help, please just let us know. But in the first instance, have a fantastic exit. Reconnect with the people immediately around you. Get away from the team. I won't do it again. I nearly did. Get away from this thing and uh, have a very, very well earned break. Great pitch of work, guys. Well done. And um, have a very relaxing, recuperative and uh, restorative um, exit. And we'll see you on the other side. All the very best. Bye for now.